Well, I was born with the Keaton Houdini Medicine Show Company on a one-night stand in Kansas. Tell us about your, your grandpa then, the blacksmith. Oh, he, to me, he was, uh, I thought a lot of him because he was tough. Yeah. He was fair, but he was tough. And uh, if you didn't like the way he did it, he, he'd say, this is the fair way to do it. And this is the way we're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't bother him a bit to do that. A guy who came in the blacksmith shop with, he was uh, hitting the bottle a little bit while he had his horses shoot, and he wouldn't settle down. And my grandfather said, if you, if you don't settle down, I'm throwing you out of here. You can come get your horses when I get them shooting. <laughs> and he would shoe them right there, make the, make the shoe and fit it and all that. And I heated up and get a rosy red, and he could pound it out and put it on the old horse. And, uh, this guy wouldn't cooperate. He just picked him up and threw him out of there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out, out you go. But uh, you couldn't get away with that today. My parents were good American people. Um, my dad was a very quiet person, didn't talk a lot. But when he talked, you better listen <laughs> because he was going to get some action if you didn't listen. <laughs> and uh, my mother was just the opposite. She liked to talk and fuss with you and talk a lot. Yeah. And uh, but she also was. I think she was a frustrated school teacher, and I became one. So, okay. I, so, uh, but she was good in math, and I never was real good in math. So, I appreciate the help I could get. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
were making me run around the barn for another reason, and that I had polio when I was about five, and I, and I had one short leg, still do, but uh, that got me up and moving all the time. Okay, and that helped polio or was good right. for your recovery, Well, the doctor told us that I don't have any medication, which they didn't. He said, I think your best move probably, at least that's what my mother told me, best move would be for you to uh, uh, simply remain active yeah. and, and run and stay busy. And it'd probably be, and that's what I did. A lot of the guys, that, that some of them, they immobilized, though well, they have short legs if they're still living today. Yeah. And so, so it was pretty common to have polio back then? Well, it was, we had a basic run of it in Kansas when I was about five or six, seven in there. And it was, they hadn't really done too much with it until. So was it spread in the water or something? Or well, it was a virus, know? I guess. The virus, yeah. But, uh, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, that's your only defense. You couldn't take medicine. gathering place which made it a little different because it was the old homestead place. So in the summertime my mother probably had 10 or 12 or 13 people three days, three meals a day all the time. And your mom cooked for all those my people but had other, your, her sisters and stuff helped yeah, and other things. She'd get help but uh, she was still, in charge. You have to run the show. Yeah, someone has to. And it, uh, and we didn't have water, so we had to carry water. And we hauled water <clears throat> because our well down at the other end wasn't that good. Yeah. And so electricity and water were, with the water tower in Pickway, was a real big asset for the community. Yeah. And I think the biggest changer of the farm was electricity. Yeah. And the next change was the biggest change that we went through particularly as a farm kid, was we went from working horses okay. to run the tractor. Yeah. And one tractor you can do the work of four horses. lived right across the street from the church. So I became an early day altar boy <laughs> by coercion, I guess. Yeah, well I did that too. Yeah. They didn't, money wasn't very yeah, good though, huh? Father grabbed me and dragged me in there and said, <laughs> I gotta have a server, come on. Yeah, and I had Latin, to, I so just you remember, didn't understand it I at just, all. I just memorized the Latin and went on. So, but I, I served one whole summer, I served a Sunday mass the whole summer. Uh, and I enjoy it.
30s, the early 30s, like 34, 35, 36, had a lot of dust storm. Okay. Oh, and I all uh, yeah. pick way. Yeah. So. And then you even you just couldn't see the sun is like right now the sun would be down, and the only way you could get home I just always carried a stick after working the old horses and walk down the fence row. Oh yeah, yeah, you trace the fence and yeah. to get home. Just, that'd, that'd take you right where you wanted to go. My dad told me, he'd tell me, I'd say, well, I need a little money, Dad. He'd say, well, go earn her. <laughs> you know, Down the street. Yeah, yeah so. go earn Go shoot a rabbit or two and go from there. We got electricity in 1936. Okay. And we got electricity, we got a lot of other things with it. Yeah. We got. Uh, Bills. <laughs> Bills. <laughs> you, you could. Uh, well, you just had more you could do with electricity than without electricity. Yeah. And the farms didn't have any, like you could milk the cows with electricity. Did you have running water in the kit? I know you had an outhouse, right? Yeah. And no, then... we didn't have running water. We had a. Uh, and a system.
The big games we played were baseball and hunting, and later on we started to get acquainted with football as it did come around, but basically we played baseball, and we'd take a, a old, old baseball and knock, take the cover off after it wore out, just tape it up with black tape, and that was our baseball. And my uncle Ed and, and Parsons, used to live with us as a single man. And he got a job on the railroad, uh, working for the Katy Railroad, an engineer. And so he would uh, come up occasionally. He gave us all baseball gloves, just for the heck of it. And uh, he gave me, he said, I'm gonna make you a catcher. So I became the catcher. I, I was a a fat little kid, so I was a fat little catcher. <laughs> You're around, a good target, huh? Yeah, <laughs> they could see you. I couldn't run real good, that was the key. Fred carried the gunny stack, and we, we had him carry the gunny sack and <laughs> put the dead rabbits, and then we'd take them and put them in a bushel basket. Yeah. And we'd use, maybe go out and shoot a while, we'd get two or three. And we'd go down the hedgerows, everybody had a hedgerow because in the early days of Kansas, they didn't have money for fencing. Mm -hmm. 